This video is sponsored by Advix. The journey of advanced technology starts and stops with Advix. Visit AdvixAftermarket.com for more information. Here's a term you may not have heard before, tribology. What this means? Well, it's the study of friction. And when you're dealing with brakes, friction is a critical force that you need to stop the car. On all vehicles, the rotor and brake pad create friction. This is measured in mu, or the amount of friction between the rotor and the brake pad. I know you're wondering, how does this matter to me replacing the brake pad? Well, it's critical to understand when you're selecting a set of brake pads for a vehicle. Mu, or the coefficient of friction between the brake pad and brake rotor, is probably one of the most complex engineering challenges on the vehicle. The OEMs and friction material companies will spend a lot of time tuning the friction material for the platform or vehicle. In other words, they're trying to achieve a mu or a coefficient of friction that is relatively flat that produces the correct brake pedal feel for the customer. So in other words, if you had low temperatures here, high temperatures here, this curve would be almost flat. In comparison, a high performance racing type brake pad, well, that curve would actually go up as the brake pad got hotter. But there are some low quality friction materials out there that will actually lose friction as they get hotter and they'll go off like this. This is typically described as brake fade. So now that you're familiar with the study of tribology and friction, keep this in mind when you're selecting brake pads for a customer, you need to make sure that those brake pads will return the brake pedal feel and braking performance back to the vehicle when it was new. So take your time in selecting those brake pads and use a high quality brake pad. I'm Andrew Markell. Thank you very much.